Aloha and welcome to La Boreal, a French luxury yacht visiting Honolulu. My name is uh, Captain Erwan Lerosic. I'm the captain of Le Boreal Expedition Yacht for Ponant. We are a small French yacht company. I, I was always uh, very interested by the sea. Uh, I, I'm born from on the west coast of France, very close to the, the sea. Uh, I have some ancestors and grandparents that were uh, captains and chief engineer on, on ships. My uh, interest was also being able to be uh, outside, so not, not being in a desk and in an office all the time and having uh, my office moving, so the, sh the ship is moving all the time. So I have an office that is uh, going around the world, uh, exploring. A second thing that I love in this uh, job is uh, the responsibilities that you have. I like uh, to take decisions, uh, I like the action, and being a, a captain of a small cruise ship we take decisions in lots of different aspects, nautical decisions, uh, operations also when uh, we are in small places uh, and we have to find the perfect beach to land the passengers or also technical uh, decisions. Uh, lots of uh, time spent with the passengers because it's a small ship. To become a captain you need first of all to uh, be graduated and then you enter the Maritime Academy it's a five years training. There we learn a lot of different uh, aspects, physics and mathematics, uh, electronics, but also uh, navigation, uh, management. We learn to be independent in many different ways. We uh, then become a cadet on the ship. We learn the practical aspect, how to bring what we learned at school to the ship. To be able to uh, use this, this equipment, definitely uh, you need to understand first how it works step by step in five years, uh, from cadet to second mate, first mate, uh, chief mate, and then staff captain, captain's license. Approximately five years of training after the school. We carry 264 passengers maximum. Uh, we have 150 crew members. So it's, it's relatively small, 440 feet long. We do everything uh, uh, very intimate on board. There is a, a good friend of mine saying that uh, my, my favorite destination is, is the next one I haven't done yet. But on the list of the ones that I've done already that I love, Antarctica, because of the, uh, the emotion that you get in Antarctica with uh, the wildlife that is so unique, the scenery that is so incredible with lots of ice. Alaska, we just came back from Alaska where we had a wonderful uh, expedition journey where we saw so many different uh, animals from very close uh, had lots of great emotions and the scenery also is, is, is very diverse. And then uh, to another aspect, the Pacific here, Hawaii, Marquesas, French Polynesia, this area of the world, it's what we always think is, is paradise. My name is Simone Mele, I'm from Italy, from, I was born in Milano but I grew up in Genoa. I'm the cruise director on board of the Boreal and actually I'm in charge of the entertainment, of the dancers, we have dancers on board, musicians and also I'm in charge of the logistics during the disembarkation. They're very different from other cruise lines, first of all we are smaller, we have only two one. 143, 44 passengers on board. It's very cultural uh, cruises. We are specialized in expeditions, polar expedition overall, which means uh, North Pole and Antarctica. And but not only. We're going around the world. We're doing Greenland, Iceland, everywhere with the French gastronomy. What more do you want? We are heading to uh, French Polynesia. We are going to have professional diver on board. Uh, we are focusing on the diving, and uh, we will stay around one and a half month, and then we head into Antarctica, where the scenario changes completely. A lot of uh, uh, um, wildlife, uh, kind of uh, whales, orcas, uh, sails, uh, a lot of animals. And I started my career as a DJ on board, as a DJ of big ships. So, and one day the cruise director uh, was supposed to have a, a nativity and he didn't show up. So I took the initiative to grab the microphone and do the activity and then the hotel manager saw me and from that moment I started my career as an MC and then after two years a cruise director. We have French, mostly French passengers, but also the Australian market is very, is very open and overall USA. 
and the challenges are to create a nice atmosphere in between the different nationalities and sometimes it's not that easy you know the thing I enjoy most on my job uh, is giving nice time good time and then also uh, the wildlife and the itineraries and the place the places where we go they are just amazing we passing by Honolulu and Hawaii when we head into French Polynesia because then we continue to pick Island actually and then Easter Island, Chile and then down to Antarctica and for the new itineraries the company is building four new yachts and with different itineraries and um, I'm sure Hawaii will be part of that. Hi my name is Guillaume Maman I am the honorary consul of France in Hawaii I've been appointed in May 2015, so I'm on my third year uh, at the moment. So my main uh, duties as the representative of the French Republic here in the state of Hawaii is to help uh, all our French nationals. Consuls are also here to represent uh, the Republic of France in uh, most of the events, whether it's military events or civil uh, civilian events. We work a lot, of course, with the military because of our bases in Tahiti. Whenever there are events in France, such as uh, the terrorist attacks that we had in Charlie Hebdo, in the Bataclan, in Nice. Uh, we had three attacks one after the other. A lot of uh, news media uh, and people here are contacting us uh, to get information. We have a French yacht actually coming to uh, Honolulu Harbor, doing a cruise from uh, Honolulu to the Marquesas to Tahiti. And uh, since it is in partnership with uh, my minister, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, we are invited uh, here today and we're able to invite uh, the uh, community, our consular core community, and uh, a lot of other people. We also have a lot of events with the government, with uh, the military authorities, etc., where we represent uh, our country. So I'm always uh, happy and proud to represent France. One of the the best part of my job, I have to say, is uh, when I'm able to present the Legion of Honor, those medals, uh, France's highest recognition to the veterans of uh, World War II, and we've done about 19 of them so far. Uh, it is truly the best part of my job.